Okay, so the molar mass of helium, um, literally all you have to do is, oh, it's helium gas, right? So for helium gas, yeah, I mean, it's still helium, right? So helium is basically found in your periodic table and it's right here. So this is where helium is. It's atomic number two, just for reference. You don't need that to calculate the molar mass, but if it's easier for you to find where helium is, that's where it's found. So this helium, we know that this is 4.01, right? So the molar mass of helium, and because we know that it exists as a gas, right? That means it's going to be 4.01 or 4.00 rather, because you don't really need to round this, right? So that's 4.00 grams per mole, which is right. Okay, so also because we're on the same topic, right? Let's say I'm asking you to find the molar mass of hydrogen gas, right? Or oxygen gas. So in that case, because hydrogen needs to be diatomic when it's a gas, right? So you call this hydrogen gas. That means there is a difference when you're looking at the molar mass of simply hydrogen, which is the element, versus hydrogen gas. Because when it's a gas, it needs to be diatomic, meaning it needs to have two of your hydrogen. Therefore, when you're calculating the molar mass of hydrogen gas, it has to be 1.01 .01 times 2, right? And this is in grams per mole, therefore it's 2.02 .02 grams per mole. Okay, so... Yeah, this exists for fluorine gas as well, right? F2, hydrogen gas, um, nitrogen gas is N2 as well, and what else? Oxygen gas, right? O2. So those are the couple of examples that I can think of on top of my head. Because there is a difference when you're looking for the molar mass of hydrogen gas versus just hydrogen, right?